Okay, let's make a quick weeknight meal. This is gonna be four boneless pork chops. You're gonna sprinkle some onion salt and some garlic salt. A little bit of black ground pepper. Some salt. If you like these shakers, I got them off of Amazon. Flip them over, do the same thing to the other side. You want these to have plenty of good flavor. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. It's my house, I'll clean it, no worries. More salt. More pepper. I start this in the morning before I leave for work, guys, so when I come home, my job is easy. I like to get the seasoning all along the sides here too. So like all that overspill, I just suck it up with the pork chops. Then after you get them all seasoned up, both sides and on your edges, just put them in your crock pot. I did spray this with a little bit of nonstick spray before I started. Next, we're gonna add one half of a white onion. We're just gonna chop it in half. And then slice this down into like strips. Like I don't want to dice it. I guess you could, but my husband actually likes the strips of onion cooked better. This is going to add some really good flavor as well. Even though we already have some onion salt in there, you don't want to miss this part. Optional, you can also add some chopped mushrooms right here at this point. But I don't like mushrooms, so I was skipping that. Okay, as soon as your onions are chopped up, sprinkle them right on top of the pork chops, just like so. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of minced garlic. If you're feeling fancy, you can chop up your own fresh garlic, but let's not. We're trying to make this easy. Minced garlic in a jar. Gonna add a half a cup of beef broth. Just pour it right on top. Then we're gonna add one can of cream of chicken soup. This is a 10.5 ounce can. You're just gonna pour it right on top of the onions and the pork chops. We're doing this easy, guys. Next, we're gonna add one can of cream of mushroom soup. This is a 10.5 ounce can. I'm gonna put it just right there on top of the onions and the pork chops. I find these little rubber spatulas are good for getting this stuff out all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna spread it around on the top. Kinda of get it as spread as you need as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all gonna cook and melt together anyway. But just get it in there. Then once it's all spread, put your lid on it, set your setting to low, and you're gonna cook about six to seven hours. If you're in a more of a hurry, you can set it to high and cook it for four hours or so. It's all done. Here we go, this is what you got. You got pork chops with some good gravy. I like to serve it with some mashed potatoes and some corn. Look at that pork chop. It falls apart so nice and easy. Got to make sure you get some gravy in there too. This is full of flavor. It's one of my husband's favorites. And I love it because I set it to cook in the morning before I leave for work. Come home. House smells good. All I got to do is make some mashed potatoes and corn and dinner is served. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.